people can travel from east to west, north to south without a problem. The other one is the issues of visas. My friend Aliku Dangote says that for him to travel across the continent, he needs 35 visas. His French competitor does not need a visa to travel with a French passport in Africa. What a shame. In Europe, you only need a Schengen visa, and you can travel across the entire Europe without a problem. We will also ensure that we reach a stage where we can issue an AU visa and enable people to travel across the continent without much of a problem. I am therefore want to conclude by saying that I am ready for Africa. And I believe in the story of the African lion. The lion is an African animal. It's a king of the jungle. The Cameroonian national soccer team is called the, the Indomitable Lions. The soccer team of Senegal is called the Lions of Teranga. The soccer team of Morocco is called the Atlas Lions. Here in Eastern Africa, we call it the Simba. <laughs> the king of the jungle. When the king roars, the jungle listens. So our story of the African lion, the African lion is giving a message to the Asian tiger. Tiger is the Asian animal. And I want my Asian friends here to not to take offense. The African lion is giving a message to the Asian tiger. That you Asian tiger, you've danced on the stage alone for far too long. It's your time to quit. The European bear retreated to the North Pole a long time ago and is freezing there in the ice. The American panther is also on the retreat. But I'm here as the African lion. I've been asleep in the jungles of the Congo, but now I'm awake and I'm sitting on African gold, African oil, African diamonds, African iron and uh, copper ores. I'm sitting on African bauxite. I'm sitting on African lithium and coltan and uranium. And I have the ability to transport all, to transform all these materials that I have into wealth for the benefit of my people and claim, and claim the 21st century as an African century. End of the message from African land. Thank you.